found something I don't like about this crankshaft and and I've decided what I'm going to do about it and it's going to be another modification but uh, when you look at this bearing this is on the magneto side believe it or not not the PTO side this has the least amount of load the only thing it's carrying is a flywheel on here that I can see but uh, you'll see this bearing and it it doesn't look bad or anything there's no spalling or anything and it runs smooth but from this side it looks fine but if you get the bearing off and look on the other side you notice that this plastic bearing separator is broken there's a crack in it here and I notice one on the other side I can't I can't say for sure what caused that I took the other bearing apart and it's the same way although it didn't it didn't break diametrically but there's you know a little a little piece here missing uh, and I had a 447 at one time where this plastic ball separator actually came out of there uh, and of course it got jammed between the shaft seal and the bearings and made an awful racket. Uh, it was about 750 hours, I think, on that 447, as I recall. Same thing, the engine's mounted inverted. It was on a Quicksilver, and uh, I, I'm going to do this time same thing I did to that. I'm going to get put some bearings in here. I went down to the bearing shop. Uh, these bearings cost me twenty-eight dollars. I guess they're more expensive than the plastic ones. The bearing shop guy tries to get you to go with plastic again, but uh, I don't trust it. So these have the rivets and the metal cage in there. Also, I think with the metal cage, there's a lot more room for oil to go through there, uh, pass between the bearings. So I bought a couple of bearings. They were twenty-eight dollars a piece. Uh, all you need as far as the bearing it's it's a it's a, a standard size bearing I, I it's a 60 I'll put it on here a 6206 bearing the one that goes on the other on the PTO side is a 6207 bearing and all you need is the one with a snap ring groove that's what this the snap ring will come with it you just take the snap ring out and put the o-ring in there uh, they sold, sold me the O-rings real cheap, so I, I don't know, they were like maybe 80 cents a piece or something for the O-rings, so they were pretty cheap. Uh, and just replace the snap ring with the O-ring and you got exactly what you need. So it's an unsealed uh, 6206 bearing on the mag side and a 6207 on the other. Took me about maybe 10 minutes at the bearing shop. To come up with these but uh, I can't I can't see uh, going with these plastic uh, ball separators in there again especially since I had trouble on the on a 447 that was mounted inverted on a Quicksilver I I think that the the plastic can can come off of there it certainly restricts oil getting to the bearings for something that turns as fast as these do and they're not going to convince me they say oh it's better plastic nowadays and everything and and uh, how long was it in there I said well 20 years well how long you expect it to last well I want it to last longer than 20 years I can tell them that <laughs> it's too hard to take it apart and put new ones on but uh, you might see where this looks a little melted here but that's probably from me using the heat gun I had to heat it up to get the Loctite loose here to get the thing off because they're put on the crankshaft with Loctite so you have to use a heat gun to get them loose anyway so I think if you want to take the bearings off you're probably going to ruin that separator from doing that to get it up to 400 degrees so so that's a modification on there I'm going to change these bearings over to metal cages uh, because I found a couple of them here. The PTO side sounds is fine. The bearings turns fine and quiet and everything. Well, this side turned all right too. But I noticed these uh, separators are cracked. So I'm just I'm just going to go ahead and uh, dispense with these bearings and go with the the riveted in 
bearing separator like that. I think I think that'll probably last longer. That's my guess. Oh, one other thing I didn't like about it too. They use this thing between the bearings as a separator, which uh, it's just a spacer to hold the bearings apart. The two bearings, you know, when they're when they're in there, they they're held apart just a little bit with this thing. However, it's so big in diameter, it looks to me like that's really like they were trying to figure out how do we keep oil from going in this bearing. I don't think that's a good idea either. So uh, I'll probably turn down the diameter of this and make this a much smaller